The Chicago Police Department now says over the course of the long holiday weekend, beginning Thursday and ending at midnight last night, 90 people were shot in this city and 17 people were killed. Seven-year-old Natalia Wallace was playing with her cousins in the front yard of her Chicago area home. In Hoover, Alabama, Roy Tay DeMarco Giles Jr. had just finished second grade and was walking in the mall. Eight-year-old Sequoia Turner was out on a drive with her mother in Atlanta. These young faces are among the at least six children shot and killed in what was a violent 4th of July holiday weekend. I found my baby laying here. I'll never be the same again. Crossfire hit the little girl standing outside her grandmother's house. To see my daughter on the table with a gunshot wound to the forehead, it hurts me that my youngest daughter is no longer here, that is, Seven years old. that I would not be able to talk to her, hold her, Seven. tell her anything, her bedtime stories, Nothing. anything. What is happening right now? All of these forces are coming together at the same time and making it very difficult. The ecosystem of public safety that isn't just law enforcement, but is local, community-based. And they too have really been hit hard by COVID and are now just kind of coming back online and getting their footing. The top cop in Chicago calling the shootings tragedies. We cannot allow this to be normalized in this city. We cannot get used to hearing about children being gunned down in Chicago every weekend. In a news conference this morning, Chicago PD hitting on bail reform over and over again. These babies are being killed every weekend. And cops are putting thousands and thousands and thousands of illegal gun possessors in, in jail only to be let out again where witnesses say, I'm afraid for my life because these people don't have any consequences. Unfortunately, what I think we're seeing is a manifestation of literally decades of neglect in certain neighborhoods where literally um, young boys turn into men on the streets and feeling like their only career path is going to the corners instead of college or career. There's an ongoing tragedy of black on black crime, especially in poor neighborhoods in this country, accelerated by easy access to guns. So you see more of these shootings and it's just to me it's horrific, Greg. I just, I mean, I don't understand. Now, I hope no one here is implying that somehow this is because the police are not doing their job. 